uh, dietitian would uh, say you are what you eat. Uh, an astrologer would say you are the uh, lines that are uh, there on your palm. An astrophysicist would rather say that I am the sum. You are the sum of protons, neutrons, electrons, or whatever. But if you ask me, I would say that I am the sum and the product of the habits that the nature has given me and the habits that I have nurtured. Which is when my my friends, my amigos at IARE have asked me to speak about uh, nature and nurture. I felt that I had an original story to tell. And by the way, storytelling is something that I am very passionate about. I am I, a filmmaker myself and uh, I love to tell stories. I love to take snippets of my life. I love to take uh, the small uh, the episodes of my life or the phases of my life and I try to compartmentalize it uh, into screenplay, screenplay devices. And for you guys to understand the story that I am about to tell, the screenplay that I am about to share, you need to be familiarized, uh, familiarized with one word. This is a word that I have heard quite long ago from a professor in a philosophy class when I am sitting. From a filmmaking course that I have taken a sabbatical from engineering. And anyways, that's irrelevant now. But what is relevant is what that professor has told me, that one word in a philosophy class. It is called a priori knowledge. This particular word means when some when a person is born on the space of earth, he he already has a set of rules, a set of knowledge or a kind of uh, a basic set of principles that he is born with. For example, a baby need not be told when to cry or uh, is the smell good or smell bad. He already knows that this particular smell is good, this particular smell is bad. Or any, uh, or for that matter of fact, as he is growing up, his DNA or his blood or his lineage will give him a few qualities in life. These particular qualities is called a priori knowledge and when I am growing up, as a growing up child, I always felt I have three of these qualities in me that the nature has given me. Number one is uh, being hardworking. Number two is well natured. And number three is being principled, being high on ideology. And I have to admit this that for 90% of my life, these three qualities, just these three qualities have made me one of the biggest failure in my life. For 90% of my life I was a failure just following these three things. And let me explain, let me explain this in a, uh, in a clear manner. Uh, like I said, I'd like to compartmentalize. Let us take three phases of my life and these three qualities that I've talked about, like three eggs in a basket. So I've kept these three, three eggs in my basket. And I have, let us talk about the first phase, which is also called as a schooling phase. This is, we need to go way back to a phase, to a time where I just joined in ninth grade and uh, I was pushed to prepare for an exam that is literally 1500 days away or four years away. That exam is called JEE and the college uh, that my parents pushed me that the strangers pushed me, that my friends pushed me, that uh, everybody around me pushed me is IIT. Uh, and I have taken the first egg from my basket. This particular egg is called uh, hard work. I thought this nature given quality which is hard work, let me use this particular hard work and try to crack the exam. And I have given my everything, I have given my everything in my ninth in, the, in, this, in this hostel that I am studying in. And as I kept going, as I kept studying, forget IIT. I was struggling to even cope up with the curriculum that the 9th and 10th standard has given. I was literally the one of the last few people in the in the marks or whatever. At one point I felt maybe this this particular hard work was not mighty enough. A dream. I had the same dream, I had the same goal, I had the same ambition and that is by the end of first semester I wanted to get a girlfriend. I am pretty sure everyone will accept, might not say it out loud but for an 18 year old kid who just joined college the first semester is all about getting a girlfriend. 
So I have used this particular uh, uh, ability of being a well-natured boy. Boy, I was everywhere. I was before college, after college, uh, seen everywhere, doing all the cultural activities, pushing myself into all kinds of uh, act, volunteering myself, hoping that someday some girl will look at me and you know I'll get a girlfriend. And, and uh, needless to say, uh, by the end of it. Not uh, when I say this, I mean it quite literally. Yeah? By the end of the first semester, not even an eyelid, not even an eyeball, not even a single girl has looked at me, and I felt, oh, something is off. Even this particular egg from this basket is not mighty enough. This this is not this is not done. Huh? So I just kept the egg back inside, and I took the third egg from the basket, and by this time. I have I have been injected and I have taken a sabbatical from the college, and I was uh, I was pursuing my interest in filmmaking. I just wanted to take a small break in between my second year and third year, and I pursued my interest in in filmmaking. And I have taken the third egg from the basket, which is being principled and being high on ideology. I just didn't want to make a film. I wanted to revolutionize films. I wanted to make make a film that will shatter everything. And I, I worked as an assistant director for a few noted Tamil and Telugu films. And I, as I'm working there, what I found out was I was not able to do anything back then apart from just assisting. So this particular principle or being high on ideology that I'm talking about, that the nature has given me along with hard work, along with being well natured, they're not taking me anywhere. Something is off, something is off, something is missing is what I felt. And after a certain point of time, I kept the third egg also in the basket, needless to say. And from that point of time to this point of time, to, to this moment in time where I'm standing right in front of you talking about nature versus nurture, I have inculcated one quality. I have nurtured and when I say nurtured, I meant nurtured with an underline and nurtured with bold and italic and whatever you might, whatever font you like, it is that important and it has that kind of gravity. And that quality is called pichita. Or in another word, in, in another synonym, it's called madness or it's called irrationality. This is because right after all my failures in different phases of my life, when I've hit the rock bottom, when there are nobody around, when I've hit the sea bed, when there is literally nothing down that I can go for, it is just the ultimatum and when I can see a surface, somewhere far, far miles away, I can see a surface of the sea. The only thing that might probably make me go up or that can, if I, even if I can imagine to even try to come up, because there is anyways nothing down, is that sense of madness, is that sense of irrationality. And all the mad decisions I took, all the irrational decisions I took from then resulted in this. That madness resulted in age old. That madness resulted in doing videos day after day after day after day after day after day after day without seeing any kind of results for a long time for almost six to seven months of time. And that same madness made me, enabled me to start a clothing line at a, at a very early stage of my YouTube journey. That madness literally made me fly. And when I say this, any person, any individual, any all the all the all the ones who have this mad, mad instinct in them, or the ones that I call, I call them disruptors. You know, the ones who feel the qualities that the nature has given them is not enough to actually push the boundaries, to actually cross their abilities. That particular, those particular people are the ones who actually bring about that change, who actually bring about that, that, that what, what they, they, they are the ones who actually do what they feel like doing. That's when I realized in the, in the three phases of my life, the, 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 the quality that I've kept, that's good, but that required an additional madness. So when I prepared for IIT in the first phase, you, you just, you just, just hard work is not enough. Hard work, 
with a madness to clear the exam is required. That quality that you nurture is required, not just the, what the nature has given you. On the second phase of my, my thing, to get a girlfriend, that madness to create an authentic and original personality is required. Not just to run behind an ideology of a girlfriend whom I can flex upon. Or in the third phase of my life, that madness to make a film is required. Not just the principle of the high ideology that one would expect. What I genuinely believe is to have that tinge of madness, have that tinge of irrationality, have that tinge of pichitanam, veritanam, whatever you, whatever you call it. To, to be able to achieve what you want. Nurture it. Because what nature is, has given is just a substitute. You have to add the main element which is the one that you have nurtured. And uh, this, this particular uh, uh, message that I am giving in this particular talk about nature versus nurture might seem a bit of a bit unconventional, a bit unorthodox or whatever you, might, you want to call it. But what would you expect from, a, from an odd ball like me? There is one thing, one final thing that I want to add which is this Ajut signing off. And I love you, Manam, and Happy Republic Day, enjoy your day, love you all.